Let's talk about Addison's disease in the dog. Addison's disease is called hypoadrenocorticism in the medical field, and that means lack of adrenal function. The adrenal gland is very important. It produces glucocorticoids and mineralocorticoids, which are types of steroids and hormones um, that the body needs for everyday things. Um, these are stress hormones. Uh, these help everything from a nice normal membrane balance in cells, uh, to the fight and flight responses. And so when we're talking about Addison's, what that is, is that means there's a lack of production or a decreased production of those needed hormones and steroids. And so dogs with Addison's disease are fairly classic. They will be, a lot of times they vomit a lot, they shake and shiver, they're lethargic, they lose weight, just their overall appearance is just not right. And usually people will bring them in because they've lost weight and are vomiting and are shaking all the time and they're just very lethargic. And so blood tests can be done by your veterinary clinic to diagnose Addison's. And Addison's is a manageable disease. Um, it, depending on what is diagnosed or, or what type of Addison's is diagnosed, um, prednisone is the glucocorticoid side of Addison's that is used to, to treat. And also there is an injectable form uh, for the other side, the mineralocorticoid side for Addison's uh, that you can give once a month. And then there's an oral form of that as well. And so it is a manageable disease, but these animals are sick when they have it and when they come in usually. They have a high, cal or a high potassium, sorry, um, and these guys can be very, very dangerously ill. So check with your clinic if you see any of these signs and uh, so they can be diagnosed and treated.